I am not a politician, but because of the fact that I will still be around when the election is taking place, I may say that um, it's an opportunity for the electorate to choose who will be their leader. And so how best they make use of the opportunity will determine what we get. Incidentally, the APC and the PDP are not being elaborate in describing the footholds on what they intend to do. But I know too that the Labour Party man has been spoken. One of the things I want to quote him for is that he will put capable and competent persons to man positions. If that is anything to go by and we have ministers that are not picked from because of where they come from or because of what they have, but they are picked because of their competence and capability, then it may mean that uh, if a proper and fit person is put into education, then there will be a turning around in education. However, I have a problem with Nigerian education no matter what you put into it because a lot of garbage is have been pushed in. So even if you have a good minister, it may take him a long time to go through the length from up down to change the system. Most of the people in the education system today, including the specters of education, have become so formatted that their presence will not make any difference because they just see it as a ritual which does not make any change. See, one of the things I have as uh, something that is very important if we are going to do anything is there should be need to overhaul the Ministry of Education to make sure that competent persons, you know, you don't bring a, a, a tomato seller to be a midwife and you expect a child to be properly born. Until we put the competent persons who do what they should do, who knows what to expect, who knows what to expect. When the, when the school is being uh, accredited or the school is being registered, until we have that kind of system. And then who make sure that the proper things are done. We have schools today in this country where the lecturer goes to the class two times in a year or two times in a semester. The first day he introduces the topic, the second day he comes for exam. And then, so you can imagine what you expect from that kind of situation. So I think that the proper inspection, the proper controversy, the proper control of proper supervision is not done in education. So all we are getting is pretense. Okay, as a stakeholder now, uh, if you were to talk to your parents going into the election, what one advice would you have to give them? I would ask them to vote according to their conscience, not voting for people who give them money because that money will fade away. Let them vote for somebody they can hold responsible because of what he said and what he promised to do not somebody who they already know that is not capable they judge because of money given to them that's my advice to them